The Main Hue Animals Home is uh, based in northwest London. Um, we only have the one facility, which is relatively small, in a residential area of Lo inner city London. And uh, consequently, that brings its own issues that are very much hyped up in the media these days. That being the overpopulation, the explosion in the population of certain dog types, um, primarily Staffy, Staffy, Staffordshire Terriers and their crosses, and generally speaking, any other large. Uh, well, this is we've got three of these uh, who come from an unwanted litter of Staffies. Um, family had mum and dad who we've also convinced to get neutered now, and they had a litter of six pups. Fortunately, they've already uh, sold three of them on, uh, but we got these three, and they, I think her brother and sister have been neutered today. So she's... <coughs> what a matter, Aubrey. That's a little boy, I think. What's going to happen to this fellow? Well, uh, neutered and up for adoption. There is no responsible breeder in this day and age. Dogs, fully healthy dogs are being put to sleep because there's no homes for them, yet breeders are churning out more and more puppies. Um, that's where the irresponsibility lies. Um, I would say that any person who has a dog, if they don't want to breed, and I don't think anybody should be breeding necessarily, that animal should be neutered. These were dumped on us at the weekend. The German Shepherd cross staffies. Um, but I mean, in the right hands, in the right family, they'll be beautiful dogs. Intelligent, well behaved. Is yeah? mm. that your brother and sister in there? Is that your brother and sister? When you think about the thousands of people who work in welfare organisations, who volunteer in welfare organisations, and you have responsible owners who have pets yes obviously they love their animals and i would like to think that that's the majority but you still see a large amount of what i would say was not necessarily cruelty though that still exists and we see some horrendous problems with that but it's generally ignorance of an animal's needs and neglect uh, and that's what is quite disheartening sometimes because it, it seems that you are making very little inroads into that, into that basic ignorance and neglect. They were part of a, um, a large community of kittens that were being, they either lived with one person or they were being fed by one person. And um, it's a phenomenon called animal hoarding. Um, in the States, it's recognised as a psychological condition. Here, not, not so much is known about it in the UK, but it is becoming more prevalent. Um, where a person or a, a, you know, a couple, for some reason, usually for some sort of trauma that they've had in their own life, have you know, spent their lives looking after animals, they see themselves as a carer but they don't bother with neutering or anything like that, so the numbers just keep increasing and they become ostracised by the local community, their neighbours, so the animals are the only thing they have, but obviously it's not ideal. Don't jump.
And now she's been socialised, he's been socialised, and she's only just got her home. He's just got her home, he's my last ferally kitten. Very feral now, aren't we? Is that interesting? And to play. I mean, I would say if, you know, if people are contemplating getting a, a pet, um, please, please, please make their first port of call to be a shelter because shelters are always full and there will always be an animal for it, suitable for your circumstances. It might take that extra little bit of work, um, but I mean, you will be giving that animal a second chance and if it works, it's the most satisfying relationship that you can have so go to a shelter don't go to a breeder or a pet shop I mean we, we have relatively small facilities for animals here and we would not want to expand on them because again building a shelter is not necessarily the answer to the problem we need to get out there and stop the animals, stop the neglect reaching crisis point, stop the ignorance reaching, becoming neglect, um, educating, advising people, and then hopefully, you know, we won't have to deal with the animals here on site. <laughs>